graphic designs and video editing skills welcomes you to another adobe photoshop tutorials in this particular video we are going to learn how to customize or configure our workspace within adobe photoshop and this is an essential option that depends on every photoshop user now one may ask what is a workspace a workspace is a preset layout of different kinds of elements or components within adobe photoshop workspace and this is when you have different kinds of panels or toolbars arranged and organized based on your preference or based on how you operate within adobe photoshop workspace in this current video i am going to walk you through how you can customize your workspace and also i will add you to watch to the end i will show you how to reset to the default workspace of adobe photoshop if you don't want to stick to your customized workspace when you move to the left side i have this toolbar position at the left margin of this workspace and when you move to the right side we have other panels such as the color the swatches the gradients the patterns when you move down we have the properties panel the adjustment panel we have the libraries and when you move down we have the layers panel we have the channels and also we have the path all these are positioned and when you move to this section we have the history and also we have the comment panels and these are also positioned vertically on this bar now this is the default workspace you have whenever you open and get access to the workspace of adobe photoshop now how can you customize your workspace i am going to start with the toolbar now when you look at the toolbar these are the tools that are available on this toolbar and they are vertically positioned you can click on this arrow to adjust all your tools in two columns previously we had it in one column and these are the tools available if you want to customize you can click on this arrow and this will adjust these tools or this toolbar in two columns so that you can have a better view and this is what i sometimes prefer to have my tools positioned so that i can have a better view of my tools another way to customize this toolbar is you can click and take this off its original position and position it in the canvas or in the area of this canvas so sometimes i want to have my toolbar position here and this is what i prefer because sometimes when i position the toolbar here i can easily access the tools by clicking and selecting whatever tool i want to work with it in my canvas or my working area so sometimes you can drag it from its original location to a location of this particular workspace so if you want to take it back to its original location you can select and drag it and move it to its location and you are going to have this blue color drawn that shows you the end mark and also the correct path and position where you can locate this particular toolbar so when i release the mouse i'm going to have this toolbar positioned to its original location when it is off this location you can click on this to make it in one column or you can click to make it in two columns and when you close this this close this toolbar from your workspace so how can you get access to this toolbar once again you move to the menu bar and click on the windows tab and then we are going to select tools then we have our toolbar appeared in our workspace and we can move it back to its original location so these are some of the customization you can apply to your toolbar in adobe photoshop when you move to the edit tab on the menu bar we can select toolbar we are going to have this window which says customize toolbar you can use this beautiful window to customize your toolbar and this is the toolbar and these are the tools available we have the move tool we have the artboard we have the rectangular macro tool we have the electrical macro tool and we have the single row macro tool and these tools are grouped so you can see that this is a different group this is also a different group and when you use the scroll bar you can identify the different groups with their individual commands now 
how can you customize your tools in this window this is the move tool and that is the first tool you can click and drag and then you move the artboard to to be the first tool in this particular group when you come to the second group you can do so you can choose the rectangular marquee tool and move it to the end and now this elliptical tool is going to be the first tool in this group so you can select these commands and move them within this group in different positions based on your preference so you can apply that to these commands that we have in this toolbar another way to customize your toolbar if there is a particular tool you don't frequently use and you want it to be out of this group you can click and then move it to this particular section and now you're not going to have this lasso tool in this group but this is not missing from your adobe photoshop it has been removed from this group if you want to add it back you can click and drag to this group and i'm going to have this lasso tool available so when i move this tool out of this then when i move back to my adobe photoshop workspace i'm going to have this customization available and after adjusting and also customizing this toolbar if you want to have this effect taking place you come to this section and we have save presets and when you click on this you're going to give a name to this preset then you click on save then after that you are going to choose the done command if you don't want to have this effect you can choose restore default and that is going to restore and also organize your two bars in the default form and i'm going to click on done now when i come back to my workspace and move to the lasso tool group you can see that we don't have the polygonal lasso tool and this command will be available in the edit toolbar option so when i click on this ellipse you can see that i have my polygonal lasso tool selected when you right click you can see that we have these options available any tool that you remove from its group you are going to see it's under the edit toolbar option so these are some of the customization you can apply to your toolbar in adobe photoshop and then we are in the way of customizing our workspace in photoshop interface when you move to the right side of this photoshop interface we have these panels available and when you look at each panel we have color panel we have the swatches we have the gradient we have the patterns and when you move a bit to the left side of these panels we have this history and also the comments tab these are some of the panels that can be used when you are working within the workspace this history give you the actions and also the operations that you have been performing within your workspace and this is also a comment where you can have comments shared and also collaborated and these panels are located on this vertical bar now when you click on this arrow this expand these panels and when you click it collapse and if you want to add more panels to this vertical bar especially if you want to add a color panel you can click and drag and when you get to this vertical bar you can place it wherever the blue color indicator is shown you can release the mouse and this is going to add this panel to this particular section and that is going to have a preview in your workspace so if you are satisfied with it you can maintain it if not you can also drag and then place it in this particular section and now i have add the color panel to this vertical bar if you want to add the properties panel you can click and drag and make sure you get this blue color on top of this vertical bar then you release and now you can see that we have this properties panel here we have the color panel we have the history panel and also the comment panel on this vertical bar so you can see how i am customizing my workspace and when i'm working with layers i always want to have the layers position here and then this is going to be the position of my layers panel for me to have a better view of all the objects or elements i have imported or also positioned in my workspace so always i want to have my layers panel here 
and you can see how i have customized my workspace and also when it comes to the adjustment layer i also want to have the adjustment layer also positioned at this particular section so anytime i'm working within my workspace i always have my adjustment layer here my layers panel and also other tools or panels in this vertical bar so if i am done working with the adjustment layer i just click on this arrow and this is going to collapse this so that i can have more space in this workspace so you can see how i have customized this particular workspace so you can base on this and depend on it and how you normally work within the workspace of adobe photoshop you can also customize your workspace so position of panels and also tools is very easy in workspace based on your requirement if you want to move back this properties panel to its original location you can drag and then make sure you have this blue color indicator shown then you release and that is going to have your properties panel move to a different location so this is how to customize your workspace in adobe photoshop and we have these arrows that helps you to collapse and also expand your panels so if i click on this this collapse this panel and you can see that i have this large area to work within and also it gives me a better elevation when working within this workspace when you click it expand and when you click it collapse now let's assume that after customizing this you want to reset to the default workspace anytime you open photoshop on your computer system so to do this you move to the top right corner and we have this icon and the screen tip says choose a workspace we have this arrow beside this icon when you click on it you have all these workspace you can choose and when you choose any of this workspace you have it associated panels and tools arranged and also organized so if i want to reset you make sure that essentials is selected then you choose reset essentials now this is going to reset all the customized workspace that we did and we are going to have our preset layout or our default layout whenever we open adobe photoshop for the first time so this is how to customize our workspace and also to reset our customized workspace in adobe photoshop